Oh, look at that. Plus five defense. So if someone punches... Now I look more girly. If someone punches me in the face, then I've got five defense. Okay. Can we go out of this door now? Or is it going to open up for me or not? To be fair, I could just probably teleport to him if it's not going to do the thing. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I may as well just run over. I don't think it'll be that much slower to run over. Plus, I can understand the place a bit better when I run around. I may have to watch the Harry Potter films again. Maybe when I've got a headache. That's normally when I watch movies. I get a headache and I just like eat some pizza and uh, stuff, some garlic bread and crisps in bed whilst watching a movie. Could be a good excuse. Although I have been going through the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Revelio. It waits until area is loaded. Yeah. If you've got a super good PC, then you can probably go through this game quite quickly. I admire everything they've put into it, but obviously, even with really good optimization, it's you're going to need a pretty damn good uh, PC for it. Professor, I'm glad. What house to did see I pick? You. And I, Ravenclaw. You. Thank Merlin, you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Ran Rock want the locket or sir about the goblins that Grin got. So that's like an extra question mark. So this, you can't see the whole thing because my webcam's in the way. But this one has, I'll just take it off for example. That looks like it's like main quest and the other one looks like it's side quest. But the question mark looks like it might be side quest sort of thing. So we'll try that one. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ran Rock is working with any of the goblins at Grin got? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts that poor are banker no ran his mouth. Ran rock. He got what he got. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever in the Dark Souls. Everything's just it's a map of Dark Hogwarts, Souls. To be sure. It's Elden Ring. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. The restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. Who's I sweating see on this? traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But. If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I see, so I'll that's let Professor the main Hecate quest. Known to expect you. The locket's secret. Professor Hecat would like to speak to me about some additional assignments. So extra homework. Let's go. So the minimap's kind of already set that up for me. So I will go through the path. I can't see in front of me um, how far it is though. Ah, oh, there we go. 33. Maybe that's meters? Ooh, my bad. I cannot do this for all eternity. To make your point. Might some kind.
Fine soul, help me. Side quest. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. I'm the juggernaut, the girl who bitch. Everyone at school hates for no reason. Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no talent yeah, in mind. Leander I Pruitt. wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. <laughs> Grand that should be one of the answers. And if, you lose, if everyone hates you, you're probably an arsehole. One of the responses. Gobstone's interesting. Sounds awful. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odours. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. I see. I'd have done the same. Sounds as if you caused a smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Can't make any promises and you just walk out the door. Any ideas has to reach them? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. I'd just use a kit. Whoever Akio, hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Get the old Akio out. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Natty, shutting you down. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Oh, she sounded like she was about to cry after that. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, maybe I'll try to remember to do that at some point. Gobs of gobstones. Zenobia's gobstones are hidden around the castle. She said that other students hid them out of her reach. They must have used magic to do so. So I'm in a purple area here. But I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be close to the target of where I was supposed to be going quest-wise. So now I don't know if this is taking me over to an extra quest. See, where am I at the moment? Astronomy wing. I've still got to get used to this. You can change the quest if you don't want it. It's not that I don't mind doing it. It's just I'm curious what happened to the other one now. Whether this one's taken over or not. I can't quite... I haven't quite got my head around... Revelio. The minimap and how that all works like that looks like. There's something up there. That could be a gobstone for all I know. Oh, I need to repair this, don't I? Repair it. I never did that before. There you go. I don't know if I get anything for doing that, but sure. There's your repair room. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. So it's I'm a just... Gryffindor. I'm Nelly, by the way. Puff? I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian Keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, that Professor guy? Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets Daedalus. years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Dead Why alien would I keys. do that? Each hmm. key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. All right. Why would a headmistress do such a thing? Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not he be true. He saw the film Ready He's Player One. I thought they could go almost anywhere. He got inspired by it. 
Surely you'll be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried. Uh -huh. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Right, now we've got to listen I for freaking keys. I hope you follow keys. a few keys at least. See, that's if a different quest to swap over to now. I'd love to know what you find. That quest if takes anything. a long time, huh? So if I... Hang on a second, there's a chest. Revelio. Where's the chest? There's an owl as well. The birds are tanky. They can take a hit. This chest, though, is a lie. I see no chest. The mini-map is lying to me. So we go to the map. And try to get my head around this. So how do you look for your quest? Oh, I see. you got quests here. So there's those two. We were on the gobs thing before I got distracted. Well, we were on that. Then I got distracted. But if we come back to the gobbo... You right click that one, I think. So you want that highlighted. They're hidden around the castle. She said that the other students hid them out of reach. They must have used magic. I wonder how many though. Revelio. Once I see one, it might be easier to get the other. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. That highlights, but oh, I've nice already accessed you, it, so I don't know that should highlight anymore, really. Unless there's something else I need to do with it. Now, if you look here, we're in this purple area. So it suggests that the, all of them are in this area, almost, or at least one of them is, and then you move on to the next one. But I can't reach that. Levioso. <laughs> Lumos, Revelio, Accio, Repero, Levioso, Accio. Yeah, how do you get over there though? You'd have to like f climb onto it, but I don't see anywhere to climb onto it. So that's a that's a rough start. You think the first one will be easy, but I can't work out how to get the damn thing. I'm trying to make lift it and then neither is working. Have I got to use something else? Oh, wow. Okay, so this is your spell's abilities. So you got all of these. Accio Force. That one we've unlocked. You got the Revelio. So you, got, you have to choose which one you want to have. Quite a lot you could potentially have. Lumos. Stand on a bucket. Yeah, I may have to. You're not wrong. I may have to, like, literally just jump on something. Ha. 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 Oh, that's oh my one god, of I think you're stones. right. <laughs> I hardly see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Just that extra, like, few inches made the difference. Okay, on to the next one. I couldn't agree more. My father. I like barging into the students. I used to do that in Skyrim as well. And deliberately walk into people. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. This area is suddenly the frame rate's becoming. See, it'd be nice if it was like this all the time. That's cute. <laughs> oh, it is Dark Souls. I just stole from her. Okay. Let's see if that's any good. 
It might have offense in it because I have a defense one, don't I? No, actually. See, that's actually got something that I could use. Ah, oh, six offense. Oh, nice green. Those are called nifflers. Snifflers. Under Professor's Black's direction, it is my honor as Deputy Headmistress to offer you the position of diviny, uh, divination, I think. That's a weird one. Professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, we are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions. Divination. Yeah, that is a weird word. As soon as possible. Because I think divine, and then I say divination. <laughs> I eagerly await your response. Ravenia. So. Oh. She's like a shopkeeper. When I went into, I think it was, might have been Portugal or Spain. But there was this shop I went into and it had like all sorts of weird knickknacks and stuff like that. And the shopkeeper was like following me around when I was walking around as if I was going to steal some of the stuff. And it had some of the weirdest, weird, weirdest stuff in it. And it's like, the stuff's only like worth a quid at best, you know, each item and stuff. And they're following me around as if like it's, they're precious goods that I'm going to like steal like it's gold or something. I think I'm supposed to be in here. Probably because you was a skinhead. I had short hair, but I didn't have that short hair. I mean, yeah, it's pretty short. I do normally get um, attention of the uh, the security guards and stuff like that when I go into, like, um, when I went to Sainsbury's and stuff like that, or supermarkets. I think I have a demeanor about me that maybe uh, attracts attention. I don't know why. I don't think I, I think I look nerdy. Or I would think I would look nerdy anyway. I'd assume I do. Rebellion. So I don't know why they would be sus of me. I'm not even tall. I'm 5'10". It's probably my swagger, maybe. Alright, well, another one of these gobstones is in here, but I can't... Oh, I can't. Where is it, guys? Have you spotted it? Because I can't spot it. But I think... Unless it's supposed to be down. This There's a purple, right? <laughs> Just try... <laughs> down the ladder, you think? Yeah. I'd better keep an eye on high places <laughs> around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Okay. So that's one way to get down. I thought your character might just come down the... The ladder did that way. Ah, there you go. You were right. It was down here. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. She's still going on about that. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Yeah, spam Revelio. Ah. Oh. So that's... I just took a screenshot. I opened up paint on the left-hand monitor. Then I can follow this. Okay, so what are we working with here? Reveal. Revelio. Revelio. Let's go. Hmm, I can barely see it. Lumos. Because the thing is like glowing. There we go. Alright, so... There's a snake hydra. Snake hydra and two. Snake hydra is zero, one, two, three... So, three to the two to the five to the four. Should be four. Zero, one. So, it should be a snake hydra as well. Wait, no. 
four. If that's zero, one, two, three, it should be this one then up here. I can't quite tell what the hell that is. I'll just go off the shape. Oh, that's on the right one, actually. Zero, I've done some of these math puzzles before in, like, um, newspapers. Zero, one, question, question mark. So, you would think three, but you don't know what the question, question mark is. What that actually means. So this one you can just keep rolling until eventually it works. Well, there you go. Job done. Rebellion. This looks like a classroom or something. Sneaking in. We've got to check that elegant robe now. Every time you get one tiny piece of gear upgrade. Technically it is better. And it can have something else applied to it. Looks like a bird on a branch. Yeah, it could be. We've got another one of these now. So, six plus the crab. So, the, clab, the crab is, so, one, two, three, four, five. So, eleven to the six. So, it's six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the lizard. It's Bobby Lizard. Now, you've got what looks like a squid. Squid plus zero. And eight. So squid is quite high up, actually. So it's probably only like one. Or zero. That's a seven, I think, the squid. So it should be one. And one is a horse. This is like an educational game. You could... You can give this to your kids and they can learn to do math and they don't realize they're doing it. Revenia. Right, we've got another one over there and we can play with the globe. Is Britain on here? It's a bunch of animals and creatures for some reason. Right, what's this all about? So you got crab and... S I keep wanting to call it snack, but it's not snack. It's a gecko. It's a lizard. Bobby lizard. I'll get used to their numbers in a way soon. Because it starts off from zero. It confuses me every time. So one, two, three, four, five. Five plus six. Eleven to the four. So one, two, three, four. That's the bird on a branch, I guess we're going to call it. Maybe an owl. Yeah, it does look like a bird on a branch now. 13 plus the 0, so the 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the crab. Revelio. Curious silver spectacles. Am I allowed to sort of, like, just go around solving all these and stealing the stuff that's inside? Oh my god! <laughs> well, I want to wear those, definitely. That would be great for the cutscenes. Yes! You slay queen. I've got to get back to that other quest soon. Wait, wasn't there two doors? I felt like there was two. One. Oh no, there was just the one entrance. Okay. Just making sure. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobstones. Just creeping. <laughs> Nothing sus about that at all. That's true. If they can't read your eyes, you I mean, now? 
not that I've ever done boxing, but I think you're supposed to follow your opponent's eyes a lot of the time. To sort of get an indication as to where they're in wanting to attack. But if they can't see your eyes, then you win. Yeah, get those spectacles for poker. I assume you're not allowed to wear it. Like, if you genuinely do poker, like, if it's actually, like, proper sort of, like, those ones that they show on TV, not that I've ever watched them. I'm assuming that there's some... I know, I wouldn't say a dress code, because you sometimes have a bloke in, like, T-shirt and shorts and another guy in a suit. But I assume you're not allowed to wear anything that's too distracting. Like, there's got to be some sort of rules or something. Wait, what's this? Revelio. What's this mean? Oh, I see. It's one of those. Okay. I wondered if that could make the statues do something. Okay, so you got horse. I start to see it as like the actual pictograms now. Horse plus eight... So nine to the four, four being the bird on the branch. Then we got 13 to the snake hydra. Why do they have two that are sort of basically snake hydras? There's a three headed one, and there's like a nine headed one. Okay, so 13 plus 9 minus 2 minus 1. How? Lando? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or well, 13 plus 9. That takes you to 22. So you'd have to be like minus 1. There's no minus 1 as far as I know. Huh? So unless I go one number less on that one. But I thought they're separate puzzles in a way. You need five. Oh, my bad. I got them mixed up again. Because I was getting like... I was looking at this one. Right, I'm with you. Yeah. I... I, I I was I wasn't sure if these puzzles got more complicated. You need to start using minus and stuff like that. I was looking for that. Okay, so thirteen plus the one, two, three, so six, and then the, like you say, the five. The five is the crab, I believe. Yeah, it seems weird to use two different. You could have so many different animals here, but why would you use two that are basically the same thing? Like that's a hydra, and that's a hydra. Yeah, wrong Hydra. Revelia. Well, I'm getting geared up. Was, even if it's trash gear, it's still free gear at the end of the day. And it's giving me experience, so... What's this? I think I need level 5 for that one. So I found that, but I can't wear it yet because I'm not high enough level for it. I will be if I do another quest. So you can get quite distracted with these side quests, can't you? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, it's a good thing they remind you as well, don't they? So, if the purple... big purple circle wasn't enough, Akio. the character actually, like, Pero. says about the quest. Akio. Gotcha. Two more to go. Oh, I think this is from the movies, isn't it? All these paintings. Accio. I wonder if you can shoot that to check. Oh, no, never mind. We've got another one of these to do. 
Okay, so 15 plus general grievous. That's 2. So 17. So that's 6. Which 6 would be the gecko? That's the other one then. Because they have different symbols on each one, I think. Now we've got the... Let's call it the Lesser Hydra. Plus the Big Hydra. So 9 plus the 3. So that comes to 12. Then you got 7. And 7 is the Squid, I think. Call it a ty Tridra. <laughs> is that actually a thing? Rebellion. Am I a bombardier? Enjoy it. I don't know. Maybe I might be. I just don't know what it is. Bombardier. I'm Bomba. I'm a fan of Bomba from uh, The Hobbit. Those glasses, though. Oh, damn. Legendary. Got myself some pink boots. Is this the Lost Ark? Oh, now we're talking. Now we are talking. We are in business, boys. That is, like, almost perfect. I should get level 5 just from putting that on. Okay, where's these goblets at? There's gobbo stones. Goblins is. Ah, oh, where are you? I thought for a second it might be there. <laughs> like, sort of hidden inside of that. There's something sus going on here. Like, you'd think it would be all the way up here or something. But maybe not. Oh, this one's a bit more... There's a lot of space to look around. If I come out, then I'm no longer in the area. So I think it's got to be here somewhere. I just don't see it. Rebellion. Do you guys see it? Any gobs in chat? Go back up and up the staircase and outside? Hmm. Yes. That's a trickier one, this. It could be, like, just anywhere up on the wall somewhere. Or it might not be at all, and I'm just sort of, like, looking for something that's not actually there. So, yeah. Uh, let's just keep going. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobstones. This place is massive. On another adventure, are we? I'm clearly sneaking into places I shouldn't be because no one else is here. Hogwarts Herbology Award in recognition of exemplary skills in the field of herbology. Hogwarts bestows this special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff. Mirabelle Garlic, from Mandrakes to Mistletoe and Boo Boo Turbos to Bouncing Bulbs, her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Quite, quite. Ah, gotcha, Gobbo. 
Get over here. Revenia. I think it wants me to town. Handy portal. resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. So I've gone all this way, and one of them I might have might have been in a different direction. So where is it that you think it is? Is it all the way down here? Let's go quest again. Turn it off, turn it back on. Come back to the map. And I'm there. What's this one? That's something else. Hmm. So it doesn't really highlight where it is I've got to go. Because if I come out... I've got... Oh, unless the gobbo is in here. Which that must mean what it is. I thought for a moment maybe... Yeah, it wants you to teleport to the next area where the gobbo is, but actually it might not be the case. Revelio. There's a chest up I've there. Always said that travel Behind you. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Yeah, get some sick loot. So how far have we got to travel for that? Oh, cool. I didn't know it did that. That's what I was thinking it should do. If you press V, then it'll sort of give you a little uh, dust particle indication. Where is she, then? She is all the way over here. So I've gone on quite a little journey there, and I... That looks close enough. Nah, the YouTube uh, comments on this one are much more reasonable. They're just super glad to be seeing some Harry Potter gameplay. What are you up to now? The chest was up there, but I don't know whether that was like an even another floor. I could have gone back to check, but maybe another time. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I've found all of your gobstones. Really? Yeah. I didn't think it was possible. However, yeah. did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> we may I have it. my gobstones back? <laughs> no, I think I'll keep them. I want the second option, but I came into the left monitor, so... How do I get... Yeah, thank God. I was worried if I click on the screen, it was going to choose that first option. I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? It's weird you don't press one or two here, or down or up. Yes. Finders keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it! You're just as bad as everyone else! I hate this school! You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells! Yes, fill an arc. I don't even want your gobstones, but... I leveled up to five from that one. Am I a witch or a wizard? That's for you to decide. Hip Tony! Thank you very much there for the sub. Welcome. Oh, look at that. An impressive ringed handle designed in violet. Oh, wow. Now that's starting to look a bit dodgy, isn't it? If it wasn't already looking dodgy before. Hmm. So, those gobbo stones, six of them, I can chuck those at people, can I? When a player loses a point. Do I do anything with those? I don't know if I can equip them or something, or chuck them at people. Okay. Now, we've got to go back and probably do a serious quest now. Even though there's technically still another side quest to do, but I don't know whether I do those off stream or not. I don't know. The game's going to be massive, so I don't know how much of it I'm going to cover in the stream. 
Professor Hecat would like to speak to me, so let's get back to him. How far away is you? That's 27, so it's not far. Do assignments to unlock new spells. So is this an assignment I'm doing at the moment? Yeah, assignment one. Ah, Revelia. Hmm. I'm getting like a chest symbol here, but I'm not seeing a chest. Maybe there's like an invisible chest that you can pick up later with another spell. It reveals it. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Now we're talking. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Damn, PR. Redeeming 500k, You know where to find huh? me once you've finished. Now that was a Skyrim thing where they walk into you <laughs> for a little bit and then go the other direction. I met with Professor Hecat. She gave me a list of tasks to do once I feel finish them. She'll learn me a new spell. See, I'll have to get better at this game when it comes to like combat stuff. I get a feel for which hotkeys need to be where. I, I'll get a few more abilities and then you can sort of get a feel for it. Win two rounds of crossed wands. Complete a round of spell combination practice. Let's give you your VIP then, shall we? Congrats, PR. Thank you. Everyone in this channel is going to be like PR. I mean, um, a VIP. There we go. Du -du 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 -du. I'll play you this. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? There you go. I don't think she says anything Professor, else. Could you remind me what I'm to do before I can learn Incendio? Certainly. Complete the list of tasks I provided, aye, 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 then aye. come and see me. I don't know if you can skip this, actually. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. I look like the Mad Hatter. You got the pink VIP, just like the, this character's hair. Drawbridge time. I like that drawbridge. Maybe if I get rich enough, I can buy a castle. <laughs> Jeez, woman, keep it together. Oh, it's this. So I already won one of these, which is why I got one out of two. So in case you didn't come across this guy before. It teaches you. Did I just like time shift or something? Does this game have like a day-night cycle? That might be why there was no one around. Ah, just go for it. Hello, Lucan. Can't really lose is in this. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Yes, you little gangster. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. I could have just said no, to, to be honest, but whatever. Ready to get thrashed? That's a bit cocky. Apologies in advance. Wait, there's three of them. What is this? My freaking four versus four RT games. 
break through violet shards with four spells. Like the summoning charm Accio. So the violet is four. See this stuff you I need a lot of practice before you truly sort of like get the hang of it. Target W locks. Yeah, I don't really use that to be honest. Okay, so when they go purple. I'll probably screw this up the first time. E. So that gets you down. There goes my life. Act like a winner. Get wrecked. There we go. Oh, she's on fire. Is that not her? F. S. Man, what the hell? <laughs> I've got to press S, F, F. What? What am I pressing these for, though? Defeated. Oh. Shut in the face. I wonder if those potions Ooh. they replenish. Yeah, yeah, I think they do. You, that round. you get like a amount again. of potions you can use in this combat. I'll You're going to want to lock go. onto a type. Probably to do, it. yeah. I think first things first is maybe get Q. So wait for an attack. And then go for that. Oh, the barrel. Wombo combo. All right, I've got a bit more of a hang of it now. Yeah, quick time events. Not a big fan of those, really. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for this you. This is why I always prefer to, keep practicing if you to want just do. Winning, I just I don't like to sort of round. study or anything like that. I just get into Hope it and then you then. can learn the game quicker that way. That's, that's always been the way the I've done it. So that's why I've got like more of a kind of a natural to it in a regard. I'll never be like super good because I'll never go all the effort to like learn and everything exactly Perhaps right. Perhaps I should stick to potions. Yeah. Give up your day job. Get out of here. You're trash. But like in World of Warcraft, like a raid or something, it's just much better. Rather than have some guy like spend 20 minutes telling you what every single ability the boss does, just fucking fight the boss. Wipe on it. And maybe during that time that you've wiped, you've learned two or three things that the boss does. So then you know better. That tells you better what the boss does than someone just telling you. It's like show don't tell sort of thing. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? 